welcome back to genuine quarter guys this is the second video in the java fx library management system of women series and in this video i'll be talking about setting up the derby database for our software so uh, a little bit introduction for the jdbc a jdbc allows us to access the database from our java application i mean you might be thinking why don't we use files if you use files it is hard to control and manipulate that i mean if you want to access data you will have to write your own accessing methods for files but in case of database we can just uh, insert and retrieve data using the database api so java supports a number of uh, database like mysql mysql or microsoft access or things like that in case in our case i'll be using the derby database which is very easy to set up and uh, the syntax is very much the mysql syntax so let's go ahead so i'm going to create a, a package first for that it let it be the library dot assistant dot database so okay then i'm going to press finish and uh, before going to the database implementation we have to add the database java file to our program so i'm going to right click on it uh, uh, library section in the previous video we have added jphoenix java file so i'm going to add the derby dot jar and derby client dot jar i will give the link in the description for downloading the derby files it is actually available from the jdk folder but uh, it will be better if you download the derby jar file on your own and next we want to create a class for the database so new then i'm going to create a java class let the name be database handler I already have the code for the database handler from my previous library management software so I think it will be easier for me to re uh, reuse the code so I'm going to take my code I will explain each one of the uh, statements so I'm going to first base the database I mean the object the first we will need a connection statement uh, for accessing the connection to the database I mean this variable uh, stores the connection between the Java application and the database. This statement is used for executing statements like a create table command or some uh, insert into commands. So that's it. Uh, this database URL is the URL where the database is stored. Unlike MySQL or other databases, the Derby database can be created as a folder in your application. I uh, prefer to use like that because if you want to copy that database from one computer to another computer, then you will have to copy only the particular folder. In this case, uh, if I run the database handler after uh, adding the code, it will create a folder called a database and inside that it will create another folder called a library too. And the, all the data will be stored inside this folder folder so uh, in our case we just don't want this library too so i'm going to create i'm going to store the database in a folder called database alone this create is equal to true is used for uh, in case if there is no database present in the system like uh, the case uh, when we first execute the program in our system then this will create the database so that's why this create is really true. Now the first thing what we want to do is to create a connection between the Java application and the JDBC. So let's uh, get the code and for that I have a function called void create connection. So this is the connection. I'm going to import using control shift I. So driver manager has been imported and this is used for loading the driver. We are using the emperor driver since you are using the emperor database. I mean we are uh, storing it in a folder and we are using the derby database and this class is present in the derby.jar file. So, so far so good. We will need a constructor. So I'm going to create a constructor and in that constructor I'm going to call the create connection method so that's fine uh, uh, this will call this one uh, I have to make the class final so oh, we have created a connection so what is the next thing uh, the next thing will be to create the table in the database uh, because before saving the book information we will have to create a table for the book 
so I am going to reuse the code for setup book table and uh, I'm going to paste it here so this is the one I will uh, explain it in a moment uh, statement contour create statement we have a, a statement it's not that statement we have to reimport the statement so I'm going to alt and enter then import java.sql.statement so that's good and I'm going to give the table name book for the table for storing data and the stmt is created using the contour create statement so it will create a statement object from the database connection which can then be used for uh, executing commands and this line is very simple the use of the statement is this setup book table method will be called always i mean whenever we open the application the setup book table will be called we want to create the database or the create table only when there is no table called the book name access so we will access the metadata of the table and check whether there is a table called book if there exists a table then we don't want to create a table if there is no table called book only then we want to create a book so I hope you understood that point and uh, uh, for the table this is the normal SQL command for creating a table of course we need an ID for the book I hope we have the book ID so for storing book ID we have ID then for storing title we have title it's a worker object and for author we have that and a publisher and intercode is not required and this is available is used during the issue operation I mean whenever you issue a book you set this is available variable to false so that when we search the book we can find that uh, the book is not available it is already issued for another person so it is a boolean value and default value is set to true because when we create a book into the database or add a book into the database the book is supposed to be available in the library right then publisher is Varka. I mean it is a string data type with the maximum 100 characters and the ID is uh, set, uh, set as Varka and it is primary key I hope you know uh, the primary key this primary key object is used to uniquely identify a book from the table so so for so good that was a long explanation I think then we will have to call this set of book table function so um, that's great I think uh, so we have called the create connection and set a book table so let's go back to the fxml document controller and here we want to create an object of this database handler then we will see uh, okay then in the initialization I am going to create an object of the database handler so database handler database handler then I'm going to create so database handler equals new database handler so I'm going to uh, I, I have instantiated the database object in order to show you the creation of the database folder I'm going to the file section and inside that there is a folder called library assistant and these are the folders available currently in the library assistant project now let us just run the code so I'm going to remove this library assistant x1 uh, that was oh my god I just closed the previous project that's not a problem and let us run the program yes library assistant this is the first execution so as you can see the program created a folder called database and inside that database these are the files that is required for maintaining the database so far uh, I think this is the end of the second video we have created the database and in the next video I will talk about reading the data from this UI and pushing it to the database for saving operation so stay tuned.